Greetings, loyal subjects. It's me, Princess Swordheart, the Gamer Queen here, back with another new Let's Play, and this time being Watch Dogs Legion for the PS4. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to do this Let's Play on it. Been waiting a little bit, but I did already do a little bit of a Let's Play. Well, I tried to do it, but some stuff yes, went funny. wrong. But yeah, but you know what? I'm redoing it, and I'm pretty excited to do so. But before we begin, I'm aiming for a goal of 1,000 subscribers here on the channel. As currently, 91% of you who watch my videos has not subscribed yet. But if you're new and want to see more awesome content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button below and join my kingdom of heroes. But, without further ado, let's get right into the video! Okay. Oh wait, hang on. Okay. Confirm. Start the game. But yeah. Like I said before, I did kind of let's play, well, I did the first part, but somehow OBS just got all crazy on me and, well, it just sort of glitched out and I had to delete the original video I was working on, but you know what? I'm redoing this part and I'm pretty excited to do so. So here I've actually seen that Watch Dogs does have its own series because I was kind of looking into it because I can't remember but I seen another game or two but I'll definitely look it up later You be soft. Ah, oh, London. What a town. Beautiful. Every corner and a tourist photographing it. Pubs serving up a pint and a smile. Ooh. All that music, theater, and art. And I'm just so amazed by the, the style. The tube. The class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Huh? Only took 12, years Sorry, to that was when the guards parrot. To tear it all down. Well, a guard's parrot, I should say. Okay. What's our status? Perimeter security's down, but plenty of your flying friends about. Drones. Hmm. Got in no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. Ubisoft presents. I'm in. I love how there's a whole sequence dedicated to an intro. If you haven't brushed off, I might ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities. <laughs> Rich Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. Let us all this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. Okay. Operation Westminster. Investigate the threat to the parliament. Oh yeah! 
that hurt you more than it hurt me. Do us a favor and keep it quiet, Dalton. If they don't shoot me, I won't shoot them. How's that? Yeah. Right there. Their profiles are heavily encrypted. No identifying information. Hmm. Ghosts in this system. Okay. They've got loads of dead set gear down here. Now, why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like dead set was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. Definitely trying to make them look like the villains in all this. Like anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. Because it's like, why do all this? Why blame oh, me? Why blame dead set? The entire place is rigged to blow. Jesus, those canisters. Ugly as that. RDX nitrogen, enough to level Parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. Okay. Just dead set propaganda all around the bombs. These pricks are gonna blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first. Okay. Hmm. Looks easy to break off. There we go. Hmm. of Commons. Whoever these men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the center of government. Oh, great. Let's get to that detonator and deactivate it. I found the detonator. And it's definitely live. Bagley, I'm gonna need some help with this. Yes, you are, but sadly, I'm locked out. Fuck. And we don't have a chance without Bagley. Wait, I might know a workaround. Which lady manual overrides it, am I five? You're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. Well, that may complicate matters. What? For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can. But I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize it. So, fair warning. Expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counting on it. Company at our back door. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Faces on, guns out. It's about to get real. All right, let's do this. They're on me. I'll try and hold them off. Just say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how 
sophisticated this anti tamper security is. Still working. Uh. Bagley, tell me you're close. I'm through security, now wading through terabytes of decoy code looking for the detonation sequence. Come on, how many more of you are just going to run right through there? Okay. Who's wrong? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, <gasps> you're fucking not. Pull the wire. This gets me blown up. Pull it! <sighs> Bombs, 58. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? You gotta learn to have a little trust, Dalton. You're gonna give me a bloody heart attack, then. <laughs> Bombs, 58. Bombs, 58. Bombs, 58. Bombs all over Bombs London. As we speak. All screen, badly. Okay, now we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sister's at the town conference. We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it, I can shut it all down. Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Let's get going. Sabine, what's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. Her protocol is to wipe everything, including Bagley. I need it for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, opt, locations. Okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. Fuck. Okay. Is down. You're on your own. Dalton, this goes. It won't. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck. Okay, now to get up to the roof. Where are you? Right there. Not going to happen. You're here 
to help us with some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of- ah! Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plane, really? The great fire, the blitz. It's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. No. And it begins today. You're a murderer. Killing so many innocents is wrong. Watchdogs Legion. But yeah, I didn't get so far. These explosions devastated three but yeah. In London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as it's the just sad seeing how many lives were lost BBC because of these people. Just because of that crime organization. That brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. After all, that's that wasn't weren't the ones to blame for this. CEO of private military company Albion received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down After all, those other people were responsible. That's that was only trying to stop the attacks. and distribution enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes as crime numbers take a dive illegal gambling drug trafficking and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of london's five largest criminal syndicates the streets of camden and brixton as albion's mandate is extended indefinitely by the government life finally begins to return to normal Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs, thanks to the deployment of news outlets. Reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated, possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few reprimand the public about the circulation of fake news, conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet, that terrorist group DeadSec were framed for the bombs, have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts are any other story. Hmm. I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, Deadset, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have rounded up dead sick and thrown them in jail. Now, I'll say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Right. Ambience put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than dead sick ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no 
Searching for contacts. Shit. Situation is worse than I thought. Ah, uh, but there's a candidate. Looks like you're dead sex best hope. Hmm. Hmm. This one looks. Oh, Lisa Chuai. Cause looks like we're going to be getting that sec back together. Cause I gotta admit, I'm willing to help. I know they were responsible for the bombing. Cause after all, we seen that they were only trying to stop it. Cause trust me, I know they would be wanting to clear their names after what happened. Cause after all, at least one of the dead sec members had a sister. That was that died because of it. <gasps> They're still hunting down the other members. Glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Hmm, fine. <laughs> Episode of the upload we're talking about the optic and how it's changed our lives now as you remember bloom announced a new version of the optic at the recent tone conference but we haven't heard too much about that since due to the dramatic events there let's cast our minds back and consider the technology i mean the optic changed everything it lets you see things in ar you no longer need a smartphone you just have the small implant that sends signals to your optic nerve and lets you see your emails, take calls, and browse the internet directly as if the screen was in front of your eyes. Instead of having to carry around a phone, you've just got the small handheld. I can admit, this is very nice. And so much more convenient. It's great. You've never really played a game sort of like this. Do you actually think that it's made our lives any better? I mean, sure. It's definitely made things a lot easier. It's so simple to call someone now. All you have to do is... Okay, where are we headed? Choose who you want to chat to, and they're there, ready to talk. And browsing the web is so much easier. I remember when I used to have to sit down at a computer... Come on! Come on! Ah! Everything out. And my favorite feature... Traffic feels like it's so slow. Oh. The optic, you can just walk straight onto the tube. Uh, um... I didn't mean to do that. My old paper passport just to travel somewhere. Also, I thought the optics marketing strategy, making it free for people, was a stroke of genius. Genius? Bloom, 
was really calculated when it was doing that. It was pushing this draconian device on us at all. Sure, everybody flocked to it. There was free Wi-Fi and phone plans. That definitely helped, but it wasn't a case of oh! this is a product that you need in your life. Why do you hate it so much? Oh no. It's just the worst because you had to give up your privacy um, expectations and accept surveillance. I didn't because mean to do a hit run. You didn't even need to make the optic mandatory. Making it mandatory was only to get the last holdouts across the line. If free data didn't convince you, fines and arrest. Okay. From the state. Get me any closer. Much be enough. I mean, what do you mean by privacy problems? No one really talks about that anymore. They don't talk about it because oh, you don't have what? any choice when it comes to the optic. Yes, it's convenient and mandatory, but everybody's forgotten what it really means. Here, you've got a whole company owning basically all the data about your uh. life. And you can see everything that you can see. Nothing is private anymore. There are so many times when I don't want anyone to have a clue about where I am, who I'm chatting with, what I'm doing. It's not even dodgy stuff, but I just don't want anybody to blackmail with me with this in the future by hacking it. And because of Bloom's contracts with the government, it isn't just Bloom that can see everything I do, it's the government. The UK as a state has become a complete surveillance paradise. I think you're painting a bit of a bleak picture. It's not all that bad. No, you're completely wrong on this. I don't want everybody tracking me wherever I'm going around London. Well, in that case, you might be interested in some rumours I heard. Did you hear that some DedSec hackers have found a way to bypass the optics connect? Hmm with Bloom. Are they actually making it better or usable or actually friendly for anybody? Well, word on the street is that they've been able to create an encrypted signal, which means that your world might have a chance of becoming a bit more private again, so you could go back and enjoy all the great things about Optic without that fear of surveillance. With the Optic, privacy's dead. When a startup advertised passive income to anyone willing to enlist their autonomous vehicle in their networked taxi service, mm -hmm. many people jumped at the opportunity. The hidden catch? Their cars were being used to ferry drug shipments. Join us at GBB for the full story. Oh, sorry. Hello, folks. This is the bug. I'm Andy. This is Alison today. We're going to be pretending that everything is fine. Um. Yeah, and back. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? As long as I could manage. Auto drive now enabled. A reality time now, however. And, uh, well, finally, today, we're going to road test the latest update oh. to the Big Day app. Um, okay. I may have scratched up the car a little bit, but it's all good. Okay, is this it? I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you oh, can access sorry. our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You will have to do the manual override. Oh, sorry. Manual override? Shouldn't be a problem. It's not like I have to swear a blood oath or anything. <laughs> right? Okay. Okay, okay, another one. Okay. One of Sabine's, are ya? I'll see you downstairs later then. Got it. Okay, open. Well, here goes nothing. Okay, we're in.
Hmm. Anyone home? No? Well then, let's get the power back on. This is very cool. Where no one would really expect it. Sitting comfortably? No? Good. That's as it should be. This is the bug. I'm Andy, and joining me to analyze the latest blowflies to emerge from the corpse of a once free Britain, it's Alice. Hello, Andy. And today, we're going to talk to you about Albion, uh, your friends and mine. Alice, the government has extended. Coming up in today's episode of The Upload, we're talking about how Bagley managed to conquer London. Pretty much my favorite topic. I could talk for hours about the rise of the AI system. It's easy to forget about its origins. It Floppy disk. Hmm. Don't see a lot of those these days. But still. Today on The Upload, we're talking about Sky Larson, the enigmatic founder of Broker Tech. Everyone knows her name, but no one knows too much about her. And we only really see her these days as a hologram. She was pretty young when she launched Broker Tech, the company that is best known for introducing Bagley to the world. Nowadays, it's hard to remember a world before Bagley. Hmm. Okay. Safe house is back online. No dead tech registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exits, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. <laughs> Luck. I hardly drink. Besides, Sabine sent me. Sabine's I never alive. drink. Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Well, there you are. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? <laughs> I mean, catch up on what I missed. Okay, so where is... Oh, there! back to the upload. In this episode, we're talking about CTOS 3.0. Ooh. Okay. Ah, that's it. I'm reconnected to the network, downloading our database, news archives, and oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DedSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton walked dead? I'll leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. Someone must have framed DedSec for the bombings. But who could possibly do that? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified by wow. Zero Day was involved. I believe this zero day staged the attack because I didn't set for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. They named themselves Zero Day. Because I don't know. Because the reason I was on well is because, well, it's just amazing how. Cause it's like, Cutting in to well, kind of what the guy said, one Very guy said. She has to say. There you are. I'm glad oh, you made it. so this is the girl. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a crew known as the Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black. The same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. They didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. 
Man. Jesus. How did you survive? I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudence, your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance systems. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. Oh. These days, dead sex reputation isn't exactly top notch. Right. I'd like to make London a better place. But if I was caught working with you... Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if dead set can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. Right. And it starts with you. What do you say? Can't walk away from I'm in it. Let's get started. Excellent. New user I'm in it to put an end to zero day. But okay. Now it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find a clue <laughs> around the safe house that are essential items in your dead set kit. Yay! Ooh. Okay. So don't know a lot in the beginning, but it'll definitely change over time. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, sorry if I was gone for a minute. My microphone was acting up. Okay. Okay. Hmm. What the heck? Hmm. Oh, wait. We have a sophisticated oh, okay. system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while Yay! You're there, you can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. I think it looks cool. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to get a lot since, you know, it's the beginning and all. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. 
Okay. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old dead set contact. Not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone got to punch at you. Let's do it. Okay, I kind of like how it's a little phone. Just putting in numbers and being like, do 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 do. Hang of this. It's quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Oh, yeah. Nice one. You're getting it. Come on. Gear in order? Low enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early? Brilliant. <laughs> I'm working out oh. how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have Don't some worry. damage control to do all if we good. want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent mm. thugs. I'll let right. you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DeadSec now. Okay. But I think I'm going to leave it here. In the next part, we're going to be working on trying to redeem Dead Set. But if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button for more content in the future just like this, and click that notification bell for my latest videos and updates. And make sure to head over to Patreon to help support my college classes to help me continue the channel. But yeah, I'm Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen, and I'm signing off. Bye!